What's up guys, this is Aviation24 here, coming at you with another model airplane review, and today, uh, here we have the NG Models United Airbus A321neo. Um, now, this is one of the NG Models' latest release for United. Um, I mean, we're pretty late to the party, but, you know, we like to take our um, reviews into depth into the model and box and everything presentation. But this video is also sponsored by Texan Airplane Store, which is always going to be a sponsor for our videos. But yeah, if you guys use code AVI24, that's A-V-I-24, you will get 50% off your order, whether it's a new release or not. So yeah, go ahead and use that coupon code as much as you guys like. But um, yeah, continuing on with the video, here, uh, we're going to take a look here at the box of this aircraft, and then we're going to move on to the mold, and then we're going to focus on the details, and then we're going to get the whole general, like, you know, score scoring of this aircraft. So yeah, without further ado, let's move on to the box. Right, so now taking a look at the box now we're going to take a look at the front of the box with the or with the classic ng models on box art here we have the united uh aircraft right here right and then we have their um, slogan which is connecting people uniting the world which is their new slogan very nice by united and then we have the united you know billboard titles right there along with the registration which is november 44550 and we have the ng models logo right there along with one to 400 scale model die cast metal. So yeah, we got the whole United logo back there. Now moving on to the bottom of the box, we have where it says Airbus A321neo, and then plane again, and then this is where you have the barcode for if it's being sold at retail, for example. Also, I forgot to mention here, we have the Airbus title. And then we're gonna move to the side of the box where we just have the United logo with the Airbus A321 logo, along with NG Models logo. And we have these little dots going very from dark blue to light blue here. And moving on to the top of the box, we have the same thing, but this time with the aircraft and its registration. And then moving on to the other side, we just have the part of the United Globe. And then moving on to the back of the box, it's just the same as the front, but minus the United logo and the Airbus logo. It just has the NG and United slogan, along with all these other stuff. And then yeah, so that's pretty much it for the box. Honestly, it's a pretty good box. What do you have to give it, bro? I have to say for this box art, I do really like my, a lot of detail, a lot of going on, especially right here in the background. It looks like plain blue on the camera a little bit when it's far away, but it's actually got like little dots and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting. I like that texture, especially how it gets bigger here and then it fades out as it gets more out here. Yeah. Really like that touch. So for this box, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. And I'll have to give it a also a 10 out of 10 too. They did a phenomenal job on these box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the mold of the aircraft. We're just gonna be focusing on the mold just right now. We're gonna worry about the details in just a moment. But as this aircraft is supposed to be representing the Airbus A321neo, I believe it's supposed to be representing the LR because this is the um, the regular Neo has the um, you know L2 and L or no R2 and L2 doors, but these have overwing exits. So I believe these are just the LRs. Because um, also on the real life counterpart, this also has like um, some notable features like the uh, built in um, wing lights that are built into the wing root instead of the wing instead. But um, yeah, so taking a look at the nose here, you know, it's nicely shaped for an Airbus aircraft as you know, they have the classic round nose. They're not uh, pointy as like a 737. And moving towards like the wing root, that's also looking pretty good and pretty smooth and pretty realistic as well. And also with the wing itself, the wing shape has been very nicely done. It's not like um, Gemini Jets where they have the winglets, you know, kind of looking a little bit weird, like infinite flight. But we're not going to talk about that right now. And we're going to move towards the back of the aircraft uh, where we have the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Those are also looking amazing. As long as we do also have a hole for the APU, that which is always nice to include to add a bit more realism. And then we're going to take a look at the bottom here real quick with the gears. These are also looking fantastic with the little indents for the um, main gears. And that's also looking phenomenal. And also the nose gears looking good as well. So in conclusion with this, I will have to give it a um, probably about like a 
9.5 out of 10 you know a little bit more room for improvement to just make it perfect but um yeah that's my opinion what is what do you have to say bro I'd have to say this plane is overall it does look very good they did a really great job with all the detailing and I kind of love the color scheme of United planes a little bit it's growing on me it's gonna take some time though to grow on me but out of this one I would say like it's, it's a pretty good mold pretty good they did pretty much phenomenal I would say like if they could they could like do with making the wings a little a little bit more thinner towards the out the outer parts but other than that pretty good all right so you hear that folks so now we're going to move on to the last segment of this video which is going to be taking a look at the details how well the engine models do this guys so now we're going to be taking a closer look at the very fine details of this aircraft so we're going to start off with the note front of the aircraft here where we have the nose cone uh we have the nose cone outline here which is very nicely done by engine models accurate to the real life counterparts where it has a little angle towards the top and then we have the cockpit windows along with the windscreen wipers for the front of the cockpit windows and then we have our star lines logo here very nicely done and we have our little static port here also very nicely done and then we have our little united slogan which is connecting people uniting the world and we're going to move on take a look at the l1 boarding doors here where we have the all those little details right there like the latch and the little windows and everything wow that was actually really good now i'm looking at it through the camera too and we're gonna have our windows here some of them we're gonna take a look at those and we have our first antenna here and we have our giant United Build War titles right there, all right there. And then as you can see where the eye is, we have this where the um, first class cabin is separated from the, um, I believe it's premium economy and then it's economy after on this aircraft. I'm not sure how the layout is set up, but um, I'll take a look at that later. But we also have the wing lights here and we also have some more static ports here, all the other good stuff. And then we also have the Pratt and Winnie engines that are equipped on this aircraft. As you can tell, um, I did have to add a little bit of detailing to those engines because I don't know why, but engine models forgot to add like those little um, green rings that are inside the Pratt & Winnie equipped Airbus A221 Neos. Um, I don't know why they, they kind of left that detail out. It's really strange. I was kind of shocked when I looked at the plane and it was like, like that. I was like, what the heck? But um, yeah, moving towards the middle of the aircraft, we have the overwing exits here. The arrows very nicely done there. And then moving towards the wingtips here, where we just have the plain blue United wingtips that they went with. I think honestly, they could have had like a United Globe, uh, you know, add a little bit of fun to delivery. And then we have the uh, infamous plug door, you know, that was known to come off a of Max 9. But um, yeah, I mean, it could come off an A321 Neo, but you know, only time will tell. And we also almost forgot about our beacon light here. We got more antennas here. And we also have the SATCOM box here. We also have the registration, which I'll read it again, which is November 44501 with the American flag. And then we had the, um, yeah, I guess the R2 boarding door, um, what we would call that. And then, we to take a look at the other side here. Where it's basically just the same thing. We have the R2, R2 and then we have the R1. We also have the plug door there. We also have some more overwing exits. This time on this side, we have cargo doors here. Here, this one for the rear is mainly for pets. And the big one is for the just regular baggage and all that stuff. And we have the same thing also in the front here where we have it, just the main cargo door. And then taking a look at the uh, nose gear there. We have some fine little details move with the camera right there. We do have some very fine details. Where the heck did I put that stick? Here we go. <laughs> we have some fine little details right there. Very nicely done. We have this big staff port right there. Nose gear imprints very nicely done. And then moving towards down the aircraft, we do have our little. Oh, the camera. There we go. I mean, this looks very grainy because it's an iPhone camera, but it's whatever. But I mean, we do have our Ram Air turbine compartment there another beacon light we have our vents for the um you know whole air circulation systems and we also moving down 
I think this is, I believe this is the end, no, these are the intakes and then these are the outtakes right there. And right here, this is where we're supposed to see the um, landing lights that are supposed to be met, uh, installed into the wing root, which I don't know why NG model decided to leave this detail out, but I think it's something that would have added a bit more realism to this aircraft and specifics to how United ordered it. And moving towards the rear of the aircraft, we do have our laboratory latch, where should we have our uh, the very disgusting job of the honey truck to come and collect that poop? It's fairly really gross. Mm -hmm. And then moving towards the horizontal stabilizer, uh, we do have the trim, you know, details, the trim like uh, whole mechanism details right there. And we also have the APU details. And we have the whole livery presented very nicely throughout the aircraft. Very accurate to the real life counterparts. So yeah. Now we're gonna take a look at the results of this aircraft and see what we get on the scoreboard. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the final segment of this video, which is gonna be, we're just gonna be taking up all the scores and everything of all the details, box and everything. We're gonna put that all together. So box, we gave it a 10 out of 10 on both sides so you know they did a great job on that uh, uh mold details or well, mold we just gave it a 9.5 and then we forgot to mention this for the last uh, other segment um for the details um my brother agreed with um eight and i went with eh, seven so i mean we kind of just rounded up a little bit more and it's 8.5 so with that it's going to be a 28 out of 30 and that's going to leave us with a score out of 90 93 percent so engine models um yeah you guys cannot you know be slacking on that um you know gotta prove on these um you know 8 through 21 models and make them you know all very detailed to how the airline you know ordered this aircraft and everything because that's important because you know you, you know you have some people that are going to be very picky i mean i'm not so picky but you know certain details that i can i can add like um like the green rings to the um pratt and winnie engines you know that can be something that can be easily done but with the wing rooted lights and landing lights that would have to be done like you know you have to get decals and stuff for that and that costs money so you know i mean even the paint costs money but the paint it already had so you know it was just basically cheap in our perspective but but decals for other collectors yeah and for anybody really it's going to be costing them a little bit but yeah next time ng models do get you know make these uh planes super detailed to like you know how the airlines you know order the aircraft but you know this is just a little slip up you know they'll get them next time but yeah as of that being said thank you guys all for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget again to use our code um at texan airplane store code avi24 to get 50 percent off any order um you guys make and as of that being said we'll see you guys in the next one bye